Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite shrubs. It's called American hazelnut. American hazelnut occurs throughout Ohio. In fact, it occurs in much of the eastern part of the United States. It's a shrub that gets about 12 feet or so in height. It'll grow on a variety of soil and site conditions from fairly dry to fairly moist, but it typically grows in sites um, along edges where you've got some partial shade. And this is where you're gonna have the best fruit production. Again, it's a shrub up to about 12 feet in height and it's often multi-stemmed like this. You'll get clonal clusters and they'll tend to spread and form these big massive areas. Um, it's a shrub that has alternate leaf arrangement. So the leaves alternate on the sides of the twigs so they alternate sides. It can be a relatively large leaf up to about five inches in length I think the keys say two and a half to five. They'll have a serrated leaf margin where the edge will be toothed. The teeth are actually teethed or have teeth, so it's called doubly serrate. So you've got a tooth with a small tooth on it. They're very broad um, and they're almost heart shaped, but they probably don't have as much of a lobe at the base like you might have on a red bud. But again, large leaf, very broad, doubly serrate edge. They alternate sides of the twig. Oh, and one thing I forgot. At the base of that leaf, you're going to have a petiole that has these short, stiff hairs. And that's a characteristic that we're also going to find on the twigs. The twigs are pretty easy to identify in the winter. They're pretty fine or small in diameter, but they've got these short, stiff hairs along the length of the twig. They're very short, probably less than an eighth of an inch in length, and the twig is just covered with those short hairs. One of the things that draws a lot of people's attention this time of year are these preformed male flowers. Um, these shrubs are in the birch family, so they have preformed male flowers that occur throughout the winter, and they're only about an inch in length throughout the winter. But as we approach the spring, we get into the latter part of February um, and into March, you're going to have those preformed male flowers or catkins expand. And they'll get much longer. These are probably over three inches in length right now. They are kind of yellowish in color. And this is what produces the pollen. So this is the male flower. What many folks may not realize or have noticed is on, on the buds very close to these male flowers, you're gonna have the female flowers. And it's very strange looking. You've actually got the vegetative, what looks like the vegetative bud with this explosion of red uh, flowers at the tip. They're very bright red, they're scarlet in color, and that's the stigma and style of the flower. So those are the female parts, and they're pollinated by these male flowers. Once that flower matures, nothing too showy, but it'll produce a very interesting fruit. It's actually one of the few shrubs that produces a nut. It's, kind of, it's a hard mast. It's very similar to an acorn in appearance, but it's a hazelnut, and many of you may be familiar with hazelnut. It flavors your coffee. You may even put Nutella on toast, but it's, it's, a, it's a neat fruit um, or a nut, and you'll find it oftentimes if you buy like an assortment of nuts at Christmas time, you'll find filberts, which are hazelnuts. So the hazelnuts are unique in that they form late summer, and they're nut-like in appearance, but they're covered up with these strange leafy structures. So you've got these leafy structures, almost looks like a head of cabbage covering up that fruit. And that fruit is very valuable for wildlife. It's rare to find them um, because as soon as they're ripe and ready to eat, the squirrels find them pretty quickly and eat them. Um, there are some non-native varieties of hazelnut that are, have been tested. Some folks in Nebraska and elsewhere have been growing hazelnuts as a food crop. But as far as natively, um, you're not gonna find massive amounts of these fruits because the wildlife get them early. But they're a wonderful shrub to have in the mix, especially along your woodland edges. Again, it's American hazelnut. Thank you so much, and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.